We expect ransomware to continue to increase, even though it might be increasing slower. But what we're seeing and what we expect to see in 2023 is the proportion changing from fewer North American targets and more targets in Europe and Asia. In 2023, we anticipate seeing a higher frequency of incidents affecting OT and the overall risk to industrial systems and critical infrastructure increasing. We expect in 2023 to see influence operations and information operations to accompany physical attacks on the battlefield with Russia, but also China-based threat actors and campaigns are using influence operations more and more for strategic purposes, to undermine democracy, to advocate for market share in their critical sectors. So influence operations and information operations overall are going to be increasing in 2023 and beyond. When we're talking about threat actors in the cyber domain, we often refer to the big four, and that means Russia, Iran, China, and North Korea. Manning expects that Russia's willingness to use disruptive attacks as well as false or co-opted hacktivist fronts to claim credit for data leaks and data destruction is really gonna increase and expand outside of Ukraine and its immediate neighbors. In 2023, we anticipate that cyber espionage and information operations activity will support China's national security and economic interests and that this will continue to escalate. We've already seen that China is using influence operations against upcoming elections. In 2023, we also are expecting to see that competitors to Chinese companies are going to be supported by influence operations as well. What we expect to see from Iran in 2023 is really a continued willingness to use disruptive and destructive cyber attacks. With North Korea in 2023, we really believe that they're going to continue to pursue operations that support the regime with both revenue streams and strategic intelligence. We also are seeing a continued targeting of pharmaceuticals and medical research entities as well.